Good morning and welcome to our year three maths lesson. So have you written the small date and underlined it? And have you written the learning objective? I can sequence my day and understand how a clock works and underlined it. So let's have a think about your day. Can you put your day into the order in which you do things? What time do you get up? What do you do at nine o'clock in the morning? And what time do you go to bed? Pause this video and have a think now. So what did your day look like? I can imagine it probably looked like some of the pictures below. So let's have a go at putting the pictures below into the right sequence. Again, pause this video and have a try at putting them into the right sequence. So let's have a closer look at our day. Some things we do in the morning, some things we do in the afternoon after lunch, and some things we do in the evening at night. And I've put here that sometimes we're in the day and then we're in the night. Some things we may do both in the morning and in the evenings. In a minute, we'll have a think about which ones you might do twice. So in the morning, we normally get up, have breakfast, clean our teeth, go to school. And they are some of the things we would normally do in the morning. In the afternoon, we would have our lunch. We might watch TV when we get home from school. And in the evening, we would have our dinner, put our pyjamas on and go to bed. Now, which one of those did you do twice? I know for me, I clean my teeth in the morning and in the evening. You may also watch TV in the morning before school and in the afternoon or maybe in the evening. So now we're going to move on to clocks. Our day is split into hours. We use clocks to help us tell what time it is during the day and night. And we use different types of clocks. So before we carry on, which of these do you have at your home? And have a look at these. Do you have these types of clocks in your home? You might have these on a watch. And do you have these types of clocks? This is what we call an analog clock. And this is a digital clock. So we're going to be looking at an analogue clock to help us tell the time. So let's just revise the features of an analogue clock. So the clock has numbers around the outside. Four of these numbers are really important. The number 12, the number 3, the number 6 and the number 9. Can you find these? And can you count from number one through to number 12 on the clock face? They also have hands, not like our hands. So this is what we call the long hand. The long hand points to the minutes. And these are the small dashes as you go round the number face and in total there are 60 of those. The short hand points to the hour and on an analogue clock there are 12 hours. We counted those on the previous slide. The numbers 1 to 12 on this clock point to the hours. The shorthand is pointing to the 3. So this clock currently says 3 o'clock. So we've got some clocks here and we're just going to look at the shorthand for the moment. Can you see each hour by looking at the shorthand? 12 o'clock, it's difficult to tell with this one because they're both pointing to the same number. 
one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock. What is the long hand doing on each of these clock faces? Have a good look now. Could you see what the long hand was doing? Yeah, you're right. It was pointing to the number 12 each time. When the clock strikes each hour, the long hand points to the 12. We read this as o'clock. So this clock says three o'clock. So have a look for all the clocks around your home. How many digital clocks or watches do you have? How many analog clocks or watches do you have? Look at the clocks you have at home and see if you can work out what time do you get up? What time do you have lunch? And what time do you go to bed? Thank you.